How to track a shorted component on a circuit board? Welcome viewers to Electric Repair Tips. How to remove short from any PCB of a phone, of a laptop, any PCB for the beginners. This is the positive side, the negative side of this small engine. Right, on this engine, no matter it's small, but on this small, can you detect a short? There are three components here, capacitors, resistors, and diodes. Right, we are to test first the two terminals, positive and negative, of this board, if they are not in full short. Right, this is our engine. Let's test, put our brake pro to the negative as I do and the positive to the positive. Look, there's a light and sound and reading. Continuity is there. Why are we having a continuity? We must not have that. If you plug any battery when it reads like this, let's try again. Right, you see, the battery straight away will get shorted because there is a component which is on the board which is giving us short. Right, we have tried several times to test our two terminals. Let's try to find where the short is. Our brake pole to the ground, we start with this diode. One side of the diode is in, on the ground or in continuity, the other side is also on the continuity. That means this diode is shorted. We are going to the capacitor, the other side is on the ground, and the other side is not on the ground. This means that this capacitor is good. We are going to the second capacitor. Right, we are checking it, but the two terminals of this capacitor, I've got a question mark there. Maybe this capacitor is all shorted or not, but the result will come after we remove one side of the capacitor from the board then we test it. Let's go to this second diode. Right, we tested this one. This side is not on the ground and this side is on the ground, but it's a good capacitor. We are going to swap our terminals to test the other side of this capacitor. But before that, let's check this, the shorted one. Right, this is shorted. What we are going to do now, we have to remove this diode. Okay, let's go on the second diode. We also want to see if this diode is good. Right, it's giving us a reading, meaning it's good. This is how you track. Uh, we have swapped our probes with this side. We are not supposed to get any reading on this diode. Stay in, stay in the video. Don't go away. All tips are in this video. We are to check on this capacitor again. It looks it's shorted, but you see both the terminals are telling us that it's shorted, but it's not. The answer will come after you have, uh, we have zoomed it to see it's the way how we are testing it. <coughs> All right. Yeah, we are going to, this is the first side and we are going to the second side. Right. What we are going to do here, want to see, is it shorted or not? Right, let's go to this diode. Right, one side is showing a light. Second is also showing a light, means it's shorted. Right, we are going on this capacitor. One is on the ground, 
the other terminal is not on the ground. That means this capacitor is good. The second one, both terminals gives a light. Uh, they're only, which means this capacitor is only continued. The other side, it's also giving us a light. You can only test it by first removing the one terminal from the ground. As we are starting, going to do here, we removed the one side of the diode from the ground. After this, we are going to test this diode again. Let's take our positive and negative probe and test as shown in the video. It's shooted straight away. We are going to remove this from the board like that. Electronics, you need to be patient and to see every step that we are doing in the video. It will help you. This is the diode. We are testing it again. Take a look, it's a red light there. This is the comment which was giving us a shot. Right. These are the components. You continue recheck. After you remove one or a shorted capacitor, you have to recheck some of the components again, as I'm doing. Maybe you might leave one or two, three components on the board, the shorted ones. We are going now here to remove one side of this capacitor. Take a look. This is how we do, right? It's up or it's one side is not on the board. The other side is still on the board of this capacitor, right? Soon, we are going to test. If the capacitor is bad, it will show us a, with a long beep or a continuous sound. If the capacitor is good, it will just give us a short beep. Here I'm showing you how I removed the capacitor. We are there to check. Take a look. Right, beep, light, and sound. And reading. This means that this capacitor is good. We will return it back to the engine or to the board. That's how you test any suspected uh, component which is on any PCB. You don't need to rush or to quickly condemn the engine. That may be it's totally, totally off or 